to understand the basic concept of planned model we have discussed it in the last tutorial so in case you want to have a look into the same please watch that video in this tutorial we will design a simple mathematical model of a mechanical system which is shown in the screen so here we will have one mass that will be attached to a spring and a damper this is a basic block which we will be pulling on the direction where f is represented f is the applied force and x will be the displacement that will be introduced into the system once we apply the force when we apply this force the spring will try to get compressed and the damper also will get compressed so due to that so due to that there will be a opposite force that will be created so all these things can be represented with the help of a free body diagram so let's look into the same so this is the free body diagram for the system that we are considering here the mass damper system where f is the applied force and m is the mass of the system and in the free body diagram first we consider the mass and also give the directions at which the arrow should be appearing and also give the directions of the applied force so applied force is in this direction correspondingly the mass into acceleration will be generated on the opposite direction as per newton's second law along with that we have two more forces attached which is the spring force which is the kx here x is the displacement and k is the spring constant then we have force due to this damper where c is the damping constant and v is the velocity so using this free body diagram we need to create a system equation which will be used for modeling a which will be used to create a simulating model so based on the free body diagram that we have we will have the equilibrium equation force applied equal to mass into acceleration plus the spring constant into the displacement and then damping constant into velocity so here if we carefully see the relationship between displacement and velocity then equation 1 represents the variation of displacements with respect to time is called velocity so here we are considering x dot as the notation where one dot represents one derivative with respect to time next acceleration could be rate of change of velocity where rate of change of velocity could be d x dot by dt again we have now two differentiations so because of that we have now two dots so acceleration can be represented with the help of x double dot and velocity can be represented with the help of x dot replacing all these things in the above equation we get this equation where mass into acceleration acceleration will be replaced with x double dot and kx and then velocity will be replaced with x dot in this case the main objective is to separate out the highest dynamic part or highest order part of the equation into one side and the remaining part into the other side 
So after doing the same, we get this equation. Then we need to rearrange this equation based on the orders just to make it in proper format. And then we will get this particular equation by rearranging all these things. So this equation has the highest dynamic part on the left hand side and the remaining lower order dynamics on the right hand side. So such type of equations are called system equations and this can be used to create a Simulink model. This is for mass damper system but we will do the remaining uh, type of system into consideration and we will create for that also. But for this we will make the plant model for the spring mass spring damper system in the next tutorial by using this system equation. In case you are liking our channel, please consider subscribing. If you have any comment or any suggestion, please let us know in the comment section. This will help us to improve your experience of learning MATLAB in this channel. So happy learning MATLAB and stay connected to us. Thank you and have a good day.